everybody, welcome back. So today is the start of my Halloween recipes and I have four recipes coming in the next two weeks that are so cool. So starting off, we have some eyeball marshmallows. And so this is like, it's a simple recipe, but I think it's so much fun and it's so cool. So these are homemade marshmallows and they're shaped like eyeballs. And I've served them in some red velvet hot chocolate that I actually made last year for Cook Mess. So that when you pop them into the hot chocolate, once once like you mix it around a little bit, the eyeballs will look bloodshot because of the red velvet food color. No because of the red velvet hot chocolate. So it's so cool if you want to be like toasty warm this Halloween, but you still want to cook out your friends, this would be an awesome recipe. So let's get started. Okay, so first what you want to do is pour a third of a cup of cold water into the bowl of an electric mixer and sprinkle some powdered gelatin on top. Then let that sit for five minutes. Now place some sugar and a quarter cup of cold water into a small pot and set it to medium high heat. Then attach a candy thermometer to the pot and boil the sugar until it reaches 238 degrees Fahrenheit. Add the hot sugar to the gelatin and stir the mixture by hand whisking for a few minutes to slightly cool. Then meet with an electric mixer on medium high speed for eight to 10 minutes or until soft peaks form. Then transfer the majority of the marshmallow to a piping bag fitted with a large round piping tip. Dye the remaining marshmallow blue and place it in a piping bag fitted with a smaller round tip. Line a baking sheet with parchment paper and pipe mounds with the white marshmallow. Stick the tip of the piping bag with the blue marshmallow slightly into the center of the white marshmallow and then squeeze it to create a blue center. So sticking it into the marshmallow will kind of make it so that the blue is within the white and it won't just be like another dollop on top of the white dollop. Then stick a chocolate chip pointy side down into the center of the blue marshmallow. Allow the marshmallows to set at room temperature for about one to two hours or until the surface is slightly less sticky. Then you want to dust them in a marshmallow dusting and I'll have this recipe linked within the recipe for the marshmallows which is linked in the description box below. Then gently peel them off the parchment paper and dust the bottoms in the mixture as well and then pop the marshmallows into a sieve and bounce a couple times to remove any excess powder. Then you can serve them in some red velvet hot chocolate to create an even more gruesome effect and you are done! So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this recipe. Make sure to tune in on Thursday because we're making such a cool recipe. Oh my gosh, it is glow in the dark and it's completely 100% edible. So make sure to stay tuned for that. And I love you guys so much and I hope you're having a fantastic start to the week. Bye.